Privacy International is concerned about the many ways that people's data is used beyond their expectation, without their knowledge and often without their consent. One domain where this entire problem of data exploitation is most prominent is in third-party tracking. Websites, but also apps, rely on third parties to process data. We all know that big tech companies are tracking us and collecting vast amounts of data. What many people don't know is that these companies also track people outside of their platform. Facebook SDK is a developer toolkit that helps app developers integrate Facebook products and services into their apps. In our research, we were interested in the amounts of data that apps that rely on the SDK send to Facebook about people who do not have a Facebook account. We found that the vast majority of apps that we analyze do share data with Facebook. What's even more concerning is that this data is often shared the moment you launch the app. Many apps share data with Facebook about non-Facebook users, but some apps share highly granular data. Our technologist Chris will show you how this is done. So I have a phone with a sky scanner installed and a tool for examining the data as it transits across from the phone to the internet. I'm going to uh, open the app Skyscanner. And you see the data is sent to Facebook. It's now asked us to sign in, whether you want to sign in with Facebook or Google or email. I'm going to say I don't want to sign in. And then I'm going to look at flights. I'm going to look at flights departing from London, anywhere, going to Tokyo, anywhere. That search. Even though I don't have a Facebook account, the Skyscanner app has been sending data to Facebook. And if we have a look at one of these bits of data that Skyscanner has sent, there's a whole load of identifiers in there. And we can actually see that the information about the search is sent to Facebook as well. So if I search for a flight from London to Tokyo, it can be seen in here. You see other information around about the flight, such as the class that was chosen, so economy in this case, number of adults flying, one. And this was all sent to Facebook, even though I don't have a Facebook account and I wasn't aware that Skyscanner would send this data to Facebook. Skyscanner is just one example. We also found a religious app, a parenting app, that also basically sent everything you type into the app to Facebook. The vast majority of apps sends data to Facebook the moment you launch the app. That suggests that data sending is a feature that is built into the developer framework that especially small developers rely on. It's a good thing that Facebook offers tools to developers because it diversifies the products and services that we use. However, it is a problem when Facebook offers these tools in a way that makes it very difficult for developers to respect people's privacy. Research by computer scientists at the University of Oxford has shown that over 90% of apps on the Android ecosystem share data with Google or its parent company Alphabet. Almost 42% of apps on Android share data with Facebook. Max van Gleek is an associate professor of human-computer interaction at the University of Oxford. So third-party tracking is extremely pervasive in the core sort of apps that you see on the Android App Store. So there, there are only really two exceptions that we've seen to uh, pervasive third-party tracking. And those are apps by very large platforms, which essentially send data exclusively to themselves. So you have core Google apps or Facebook apps, or extremely obscure and not very used apps at the tail of the spectrum. The chunk of apps that don't fall in either category um, generally have extremely high saturation of third-party tracks. We don't know what Facebook is doing with this data. Facebook says it does not profile people who are not users, but we can only take them by their word. So Facebook needs to do better. It needs to provide a robust technical solution that makes it easy, especially for small developers, to not exploit people's data by default.